what's up guys this is probably the rc guy this one's going to be a short one and not a happy one so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to flip the camera around now to this disappointment so i don't know if i'm the only one to publicly post these issues or if i just got a dud engine or what um the last video i posted you'll see um we were at the point where we're ready to get the engine started um it's all plumbed and ready to go and electronically wired um, I had a few issues with the engine, so I figured I'd make a video to post about it. I did post this with Sterling Kit. Uh, I purchased this with Sterling Kit, and I'm working with them right now um, for a resolution. So issue number one is the starter motor. Um, this thing went up in smoke. Uh, bad. Like, real bad. Uh, as soon as I started trying to fire the engine, um, which I will post a probably a picture here um, and show you that. Um, also, the leads for the glow plug igniters are a very tight 90, and they're very hard to get on. Um, and if you can see, I got mine that are defective. Um, the wires are hanging out. Um, the one end actually broke off. I had to solder a new piece on the end to get it on the glow plug. Um, and they are next to impossible to put on, especially with the boot. I have the boots slid down right now, so I actually had to slide the boots down, pop them on, and then carefully slide the boot off the only other way to do it easily is to pull the manifold but you can't pull the manifold without pulling the starter motor um so it's it's it, that's a pain in the ass um sterling kid and and rufia you guys need to put straight connectors on these for this recess plug which they do sell these are not meant for recess plugs these are meant for um, an engine that has the glow plug sticking directly out the top something easy like that they do make plugs plug wires from the igniter that stick directly on um, and I will be ordering those they were I think six dollars for two um, off of one of the Chinese companies I think Banggood um, so that's that also I cannot get the engine to fire um, the glow plug connections were shoddy so I was able to fix those um, and the engine still doesn't want to fire it's spitting fuel out of the carburetor um, I've adjusted the high speed, the low speed. I've taken the carb apart. I've tried to see what's wrong with it. I can't see what's wrong with it, but it is just dumping fuel. Um, I think I got it to fire one time, and that was it. Um, and also, the engine doesn't sound good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quiet down myself now and shut my blabber. And if you can listen here, I'm gonna turn this over manually and listen to the engine. So it's, if you can hear that, it's making some pretty awful clicking noises. Um, again, there's not so many people that have done these engines. Um, and I'm one of the first, so I'm not sure if that's normal. I did send a video to Sterling Kit. They said they sent it over the, to their development team. Um, so I think, unfortunately, I got a defective engine. Um, one of the first ones, which does happen. I'm not mad about it. Um, as long as Sterling Kit you know, holds up their end of the deal with their, with their warranty um, and they do replace it. I did try to take this motor to my local hobby store, and he had told me that this is something he has never seen before. It's a, it's a high torque, very small engine that also has a flat case here to fit up against the side of the motor. This is not something he's ever seen before. It's not something he could get. Um, the windings in this are burnt. They're, it's shot. So that motor is definitely shot. And I am running a 3S pack here. Nothing crazy. Exactly what you're supposed to have. So I just want to give you guys a sad update video. Um, this video is out of line. There will be another video where you see me doing some more work on this um, in the meantime. But I wanted to post this one up now. So unfortunately, that's where we're at with it. We're at the mercy of Sterling Kit and uh, seeing if they can ship me out another one. Um, they want to take this engine back, disassemble it, and see what's going on with it. I wanted to do it myself, but um, they're in a lot of development right now with these engines, so I think that they want to do it themselves, which is good. They need to improve. Um, so I think, unfortunately, I just I just got a dud. Uh, I just got a dud motor um, with some shoddy connections there on the glow plug igniter. So um, I knew this was going to be a long build. I knew this was going to be a major head scratcher. Um, I did purchase a transmission today. Um, which will be in a, in a later video, and I will continue the build, and I will continue with this engine, um, whether it's through Sterling Kit or um, Engine DIY, depends on what Sterling Kit um, says, I, I, I hope, and I don't see why they wouldn't hold up to their uh, their warranty with this, with this defect. Um, the clicking noises, I am curious to see what the crank looks like and the cam, but I don't want to take apart the engine um, for warranty reasons, so... 
That is where, unfortunately, we're at with the build. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, make sure you follow the other build series. Um, I will have, I just posted uh, part two today. Part three will be up next week. I'll be doing one video a week. Um, I am a little bit uh, ahead of schedule here with builds. We're also still building the semi right now currently. Um, and I have a boat haul in the works um, for an engine. And I also will be purchasing a one-cylinder Toyin engine too soon um, for another cool uh, build. So that's where we're at, guys. Just want to give you a little update again, and uh, I appreciate your following. If you're new here, don't forget, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Um, this will keep you updated. Don't forget to hit the bell. Uh, I appreciate all you guys following me through the journey. We're just here to have fun and build some dope RCs. So thanks, and I'll see you next time.